Hello everyone. Welcome to this webinar on how to trigger actions using click slash commands. I'm Manasa and I'll be your host for today. Let's hope that at the end of this webinar, you'll turn out to be a pro in creating and working with the slash command. Now, before we get started, some information for you guys. Our team is available throughout the webinar, so in case of any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. This webinar is being recorded and the recorded version will be shared with you shortly. Now, first things first, let's take a look at the agenda for today. We'll be seeing what slash commands are and the different types of command handlers that you can work with. We have a hands-on session on how to create a simple slash command and the different ways through which user inputs can be handled. So what is a slash command? A command and click is essentially a shortcut designed to perform an operation on your behalf. These actions or triggers can either pull up information or push data from click to another service. True to its name, a command has a predefined syntax which is a forward slash followed by the command name. So these are some examples. We have the slash YouTube command here which will fetch the list of YouTube videos for any search query that you have. Just typing a slash in your chat window will pull up the list of commands created in your organization and they'll be listed alphabetically. You can search for any command from the chat window directly and execute it as well. So that was a basic information and a brief about what slash commands are. But what are command handlers? Handlers in click are just deluge scripts which get called when a command is triggered for execution. There are two types of command handlers. The execution handler and the suggestion handler. So the execution handler is called during command execution and the suggestion handler is called when any suggestion is selected from the list of suggestions that are being shown. Let us now take a look at the command workflow when any command is executed. We have broadly classified commands into two different categories based on their execution workflow. So first is a command without suggestions. When a user executes a command without any suggestions, the execution handler is triggered directly to give a response. And in case of a command, with suggestions, the suggestion handler gets called first to return the user selection to the command execution handler. Upon which the execution handler is then triggered to provide a response to the user. So with that, let us try creating a simple hello world command to understand commands execution. To create a command, click on the integrations icon in your click top navigation bar and commands will be the first option under the integrations view. Click on create command and go about filling the below fields. Give your command a name and provide a hint as well. Uh, now a hint is something which is like a small note about how to use the command or basically a note about the command's utility. So make sure it is understandable to the user who is executing it. The name and hint fields are mandatory. So I'm quickly skipping the rest of the other fields for now and clicking on save and edit code. We already have the default command script in here. So let's just save it and try executing the command in the debug chat window. So the debug chat window is what you see on the right of your deluge editor. So my command is slash hello world and I'm just going to go ahead and type in slash hello world and select it in the chat window 
to execute this all you have to do is click on the enter icon now the response here is the value for the message map defined in our command code so let us try changing this response a little bit i'm going to remove all of this value which is provided here and just add hey there click on save and try executing it again let's see what happens when we execute it okay so this is the result that we are seeing now this particular command is static which means that it will give the same response irrespective of the user who is executing it to make it more dynamic we can use a click object for example the user object and try greeting the user with their first name so i want my response to look something like this for example hey there manasa so what i have to do is just use the get function to get the first name of the user from the user object now the user object has an attribute called the first name which will contain the first name of the user so all i have to do is use user dot get first name and add it in my command code here click on save and on execution it gives out a response with the user name what if we needed additional inputs from the user so creating a dynamic command based on the user input can be achieved with the help of three input methods one is by using arguments or command parameters which is the second option and the third option would be to use command suggestions okay now let's see how you can use arguments in a command an argument is nothing but an additional value or an input that is passed along with the command and is available in the arguments attribute now the arguments attribute is of the data type string and please note that you can also pass an attachment or a file as well along with the command example we are going to be looking at today is a simple stack overflow command to understand how arguments work The problem statement here is that you need to pull data from stack overflow for the given search input. And the sample command syntax would look something like this. slash stack overflow followed by the search query. So one important prerequisite would be to have the stack overflow search API at hand. and understand all the necessary parameters that need to be passed so i have created the stack overflow command here and added the command code as well let us try to understand the command code that we have at hand the required parameters which will be passed along with the api are sort this will sort the responses based on the search query arguments this will contain the search query and the page size parameter which will give us the top 5 valid entries from the api response we'll be using the get url function to execute the api and format the response accordingly so we are just using markdowns to hyperlink the question text with the question url and display the response in our chat window so let me just save the code and try executing it so i am executing the command in the debug chat window and typing a query which is what is oauth so upon execution this pulls up a list of five results and this is the response that we are looking for So this is just a sample image of the command response that we just saw. Now moving on to working with command parameters.
command parameters can be used when you want to pass specific information to the command using predefined parameters or attributes. So the syntax would look something like this where you have the slash command followed by the parameter for example hyphen from and hyphen to and a user input for each of these parameters. The options object will contain all the values passed for each parameter. So the options object is of the data type map which will have the key defined during command creation and the values is what we are looking for from the user. We'll take the example of a slash traffic command which will help us check the traffic distance from one location to another. The prerequisite here would be to have the Google Distance Matrix API and to understand the necessary parameters that need to be passed. So one necessary param would be the from and the to locations and the sample syntax of the command will look something like this which is slash traffic that is a command name hyphen from would be one parameter and the value for that is Chennai and hyphen to would be the other parameter and the value for that is Bengaluru. So you are checking the distance from Chennai to Bengaluru using the slash traffic command in your chat window. So I have the command here ready with me and I'm just going to go ahead and save the code. So this is the response that we are looking for. I'm going to give the sample syntax as it is which is slash traffic followed by hyphen from and the location which is Chennai and hyphen to and the location which is Bengaluru and execute the command. So the response that we are looking at is the actual distance that will take to travel from Chennai to Bangalore. Alright, so to understand this better, I'm just going to go ahead and comment the rest of the code and leave out the options map as such. So we'll understand how we can get values for the particular defined keys. Let's try executing the command once again. So we can see that the values passed with the command parameters are available in the options map here and you can use them in your Delude script. So this is how you can work with your command parameters which is simply another way to how you can go about getting inputs from the user. The last and final method would be command suggestions. Now command suggestions are just choices that you provide to the user to select from before command execution. The selection made is available in the selections object of the list data type. Each suggestion here is a map which is added to a list. Now each suggestion can have a title, a description and an image as well. So let us take a look at the example that we are going to be seeing. We'll try to pull up the list of files that we have from Zoho Docs using the slash docs search command. So this command basically searches for a file from Zoho Docs right within click. The sample syntax would be slash docs search followed by the file name. And the prerequisites are pretty simple. You just need to have the docs files API and the share file API as well. So I have the command code here. We'll be taking a look at the suggestions code first. So here we make an API call to get the list of files from Zoho Docs and add them to the suggestions list. On user selection, 
the selections object contains the id and the name of the document that is selected which is then shared to the chat using the command execution code so let us try executing the command now i'm going ahead and trying it out in the debug chat window so i'm typing slash doc search followed by a file name so on clicking it the command is executed to share the file to all the members in the chat so this is the response that we just saw the command first pulls up the list of files from zoho docs and on selection the suggested file and on selection the file is shared in the chat so these are the different ways in which you can work with user inputs for a command that brings us to the end of this webinar on slash commands and how to go about creating one our team is available for any questions that you might have so please feel free to ask them You can also drop us an email at clicktricks@zohoclick.com. We'll be answering to those queries as well, and find us on Facebook. Next up is a webinar on clickbots, so stay tuned for that. Thank you, guys.